What's up, YouTube? It's FitzPro, and today this is your English guide to the public update preview, the PUP. There's a bunch of new units, a bunch of new landmark changes, and today we're going to be going over all those changes so you know what to expect if you're playing the mountain ladder or if you're playing out against them. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got guides for Abbott and Delhi already up, so go check them out. They're like under 10 minutes. Highly recommend watching them so that you know when you see these sieves. These might not be the changes that make it out to the live launch of them for season four, but it's very likely going to be something very similar to this. Okay, so let's get into it. We've got our test dummy, Lay Lay Lay, on the other side. We're gonna we're gonna pew pew with some of our uh, new units, so you guys are gonna get to see them uh, in action. So that'll be fun. Okay, so the very uh, first change you should know. Now hold on a second. Wait, in uh, Jiffy. I thought I already did that. No, maybe I did. Um, the very first thing you should know, as far as uh, the only thing I would say, like, was really nerfed for English. Uh, they nerfed the network of castles and the network of citadel so the attack speed is slower than it was before so that is a change you're going to notice um but the first uh, big unit change you're going to see um you've got your council hall and the abbey kings uh per usual the council hall they made a small change you know it could train your longbows before it can now train crossbows when you reach the castle age so that can really be a big thing if you're like getting timing pushed by man at arms or knights or something and suddenly you hit the third age and you can start pumping out some some crossbows could be cool but the uh landmark of particular interest right now is the abbey of the kings well why is that well the abbey of the kings has been reworked this is the landmark that heals units that are nearby uh it can now train uh, a king you can crown a king so 150 food and 150 gold i'll show you that the uh the train time just so you can see it 35 seconds and it will make a king and what does this king do you might ask well the way it works is it heals units when they're out of combat so uh it heals nearby units by two health every one second so let's see if i can demonstrate this just a little bit here i'll get some uh horsemen out on the field for you so you can see them i'll go get a little damage from them we'll go stand by the town center and then uh we'll heal them up just so you can see it in action shoot at my horsies so i can heal them <laughs> big shout out to lele by the way for helping us demo i should have made the map size smaller but is what it is okay while they are running over there uh let's get into the castle age because no other changes for right now uh the king's palace they they buffed the hp of this landmark this is basically a town center landmark it's going to now have additional health points so just a little bit changed there um they reworked the keep landmarks just a little bit uh how they fire you can go and read the patch notes um, but they just do know that they uh they do have a different effect now um, but let's go up, uh, put the King's Palace down, sure, why not? Okay, so we got our horses taking some damage. He's shooting at him. Uh, we'll take some damage, and then I'll attack, you know, do something like that. And then we're gonna bring him back. Now, he only heals when you're out of combat. So he won't heal while you're in combat. He will move while you're, he will heal, heal while you're moving. So as long as you're not being shot at, uh, he'll heal while you're moving. So we'll go in here. One thing to note: the king himself does not uh, does not heal. You have to go back to the Abbey of the Kings. You're going to heal him up. Um, so something to note there. He you can see he's even healing the ones that aren't being shot at uh, while you're running around. Now looking at the stats of this guy, he actually will shadow tech. Uh, shadow tech means that as you age up, his stats increase. So. Uh, he, see how he's plus one, plus one, despite me not getting any blacksmith upgrades right now. So there's his bait stats, base stats. He's kind of between a horseman and a knight. The weird thing right now is it's tagged as a unique unit, and some of the counters apparently aren't countering how you would expect them right now. I don't know if it's a bug or a feature. We'll find out. But uh, just know he's a, a very strong unit for the early second age. So you've seen some English players do some kind of like age up with this, get their king out, and use horsemen, uh, and go in for like a bunch of raids while you run in shoot uh you know maybe pick up a villager then pull back and heal up is a way you could use this but it's going to require consider about a micro i tried them out a little bit uh, granted on some like closed maps i still feel like i'm probably going to be picking uh 
probably going to be still picking the council hall if I were going to do it, but I think it has its places, uh, particularly for units, probably with like a ton of micro. Maybe they can get a ton of value out of this king. And do note when you do your like select all military hockey, if you do use it, uh, control shift C, it will not select the king, which could be kind of good so you don't send them into battle. But uh, that's the king for the most part. Okay, let's go to the fourth age where we can really show you all the changes it has. So the Berkshire Palace has 15 tile range. They've made some changes to this, but the Winger Palace, this is what you're going to particularly want to see. Because you're going to be fighting against something. You're back. Like, what are these units? And you need to understand what they are and exactly how they work. Okay, so uh, in here, you have a variety of different armies to choose from. And you're going to see some new options. And yes, these are new units in the game. The very first one, the very good army, it now gives you two spearmen, two crossbows, and a trebuchet. So they used to give you like a knight and a man arm, had some different units. This is a pretty solid all around option here. Uh, it costs 100 food, 100 wood, and 200 gold. I still think this is probably gonna be one of the most popular, popular options here. Uh, you can also train the Wingard Raiders. This is three horsemen and three knights. It costs 650 food and 200 gold. So it's a nice little cav army. Uh, and then we've got two new units. The Wingard Rangers. 450 uh, wood and 250 gold. They look like longbows. They smell like longbows, but they are basically Chad longbows. So they're similar. And then you've got the Wingard Footmen. Okay, so and that's going to cost 200 food and 500 gold. Not very cheap. This is basically like a specialty man at arms type unit. He's just like a, like a different statted man at arms. So I'll show you these side by side to their comparison. But I wanna, what I want to show you first is while these units I think are quite good to use, they take a long time to train. The Wingard Footmen and Rangers, they take an entire minute to train. And even if you get the training speed upgrade at the Blacksmith, it does not impact this landmark. So do note that you're going to have a lot of resources tied up for an entire minute, which can feel like an eternity in the Imperial Age, where every minute can really matter. The Wingard Raiders, they train pretty quickly. 20 seconds for them. And the, the Wingard Army, a minute, 15 seconds. I'm okay waiting for my trebuchets, but... Uh, you know, for like maybe cannon fodder, like these units might be. That's a long time for training those. Now let's look at their stats, but I want to show you uh, them side by side with uh, the man at arms and the longbow comparison. Okay. And I'll start with their base stats and then we'll get all the upgrades so we can really see uh, everything. Okay, so let's get a man at arms. Uh, let's get a longbow. And so since this is like an age four unit, I'm going to tech the longbow up to its fourth age variant. Same thing for the man arms. Do note that this armor clad will apply armor to these wingard footmen. Basically, they're considered man arms because when you double click the man arms, it also selects the footmen. So uh, do understand that. So if you're going to maybe micro these guys separately, it can be quite challenging. Uh, I already found. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but it is a thing. Okay, and let's upgrade our man arms. Okay, so let's look at these side by side. So looking at our man at arms and our uh, wingard footmen, uh, you can see uh, the wingard footmen has 190 HP, while the man arm has 180. So that's 10 more HP for the foot the uh, footman. He has th uh, five melee armor and seven ranged while the man arm is going to have uh six, seven melee armor and seven range so not as well armored but it's a trade-off it's got more attack you can see there 20 axe attack but 1.62 speeds so it's a little slower versus the uh the 14 uh, melee attack and the 1.38 speed so the man arms a little faster it also i noticed here in the bottom it's got another attack so i think it does a, a charge and it's kind of gonna be a hard thing to demonstrate i'll send them over there so maybe we can see them uh, but i think maybe they have a like a charge like a spearman charge attack uh so things to note there let's get into our uh, longbow versus the wingard ranger okay so our wingard ranger he doesn't have a hat you can kind of see here he's kind of like a robin hit robin hood looking fella uh he's got 110 hp compared to the 95 of a longbow uh, he has 10 damage versus the 9 of Longbow. So one more damage. And the most interesting thing, the Wingard Ranger has uh, 9 tile range, while the Longbow has 7 tile range. Think about that. The Longbow already has like some of the like the most range of any unit in the game. This thing has 2 more range than the Longbow. So that is a massive range differential. Now, 
it's gonna be hard to spam them, right? Because they take a minute to train. But uh, these guys are pretty cool. It's always good to have a unit you can keep alive on the back line, uh, certainly. Uh, so that's the difference. The, the attack speed is exactly the same for these two units. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry. It takes a little longer for the Ranger. It's all longer distance, so it's, it's it has a little bit longer attack speed. Let's see if I can trigger... Uh, where did those units go? Did he kill them? I thought I sent him into battle. Maybe I didn't. Let some units at... Let's see these things in action here mid, and I am going to stat them all the way up, so let's get all of our techs here. And you know what, just for the fun of it, I'm going to make just a ton of these rangers. So you can really see them. There we go, we got the rangers and the footmen. Okay, here they come. Now, I'm not using the Network of Citadel's buff or out here, but, you know, you can, you can use your imagination. Okay, where is he? He's out here mid. He's got his siege towers. Oh, and his elephants. So this should be a, uh, a fun little demonstration here of uh, these armies. There's the king. God, got to do a little smack talk. Okay, and let's get some more of those... Uh, now, interesting, as far as hot keying this, you'll have to, like, manually set it or set something for your landmarks. It doesn't fill all into the barracks or archery range or anything like that, of course, if you're trying to, you know, keep queuing units like this. Okay, so these are the rangers. Let's see them in action up against elephants. Watch the range of these things. Look at them go! Oh gosh, the new elephants are coming! <laughs> Take that. Oh, very interesting. I think this might be a bug. Select all military units. Doesn't select the Wingard, uh, the Wingard footmen. Okay, there we go. Footmen in the battle on the front line. They sure look badass, uh, not gonna lie. Let's see how they stack up against this elephant army. There we go. More coming in from the rear. They don't seem to really have a charge because I attack mood with them. So it's kind of weird how they list these stats. Um, I think we're going to win this fight. Elephants stood no chance. What's new? They did tick up the elephants, by the way. You can see there if you check my uh, my deli, uh, the deli guide for the pup. Uh, they've got now this Sultan's Elite Tower Elephant, which has two hand can ears on top. You are no match. GG. Easy. <laughs> okay, guys. So with that, those are all the changes for the English here in the pup as of January uh, 2023. We'll see what actually makes over to the live version. I expect maybe we'll see a few tweaks. But for now, let me know down below in the comments what you think about these new units. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We've got guides, castic games, free-for-all events. And make sure you join the Discord. There's a link down below where we'll host some community games over the next week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.